Welcome back. Today we're taking our one month look at the Relentless Tactical Ultimate Carry Belt. Now I have worn this for a month, so I got a pretty good idea of how this belt is. And there's a couple of things I want to show you about it. The first thing I want to show you is, is I want to show you all the different holsters that I wore with this belt. Okay, as you can see is, I wore a bunch of different holsters in the month with this thing. We'll go over what I wore on here. We got the Celtic Holster Hybrid. We got the Masaro Purebred Holster. We got the Vetter Light Tuck Holster. We've got two of the Mid-Atlantic Holsters. And then we got a Outside the Waistband Upper Hand Holster. Then we got a Goliath Tactical Outside the Waistband Holster. And then we have a Renaissance outside the waistband holster. I have wore all these uh, holsters with this belt, and this belt has done a great job with all these. So now the next thing I want to show you is I want to compare it to the Walmart Dickies belt I had before this. Okay, the first one I want to look at is the Walmart Dickies belt. The first thing I want to show you is look at these holes. You can see how stretched out these holes got. I held this belt for probably about a good six months and you can see basically these back three holes are the main ones I use and they're all stretched out. Now another thing I want to show you is look how flimsy this is. That is real flimsy. So that's two bad things that there is about the uh, Walmart Dickies belt. And then we're going to take a look here. You can see on a lot of the leather you can see a couple little marks on it, but there's uh, getting to be some fraying in the stitching and stuff like that. So now what I want to do is I want to show you the Relentless Tactical Belt. So now on the Relentless Tactical Belt, you can see that the holes are not stretching out. Most of these that I used were these three, or these two right here on the end. And you can see that there's barely any noticeable stretch at all in the holes. Another thing I want to show you is look how stiff that is. Now look at that compared to the Walmart belt here, how flimsy it is. Now I used to be one of those people that said you don't need a carry belt. But now that I've actually had a couple of real carry belts with this and the uh, Blue Alpha Gear one, there is a huge difference between a carry belt and then a Walmart special like this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the markings on it. Of course, as in with any of these letter, wherever you put something, you know, we're going to have some wear marks there. Keep looking. Basically, you can see where I put mag holders. And also, you can see where I put the actual holsters on this belt. About right in there, I did a lot of the holsters and stuff. And like I said, I've had different types of holsters on here. I've had outside the waistband and inside the waistband. So that's why there's marks everywhere on it. Now, another cool thing about this is if you want to change your belt buckle, you can just undo these two screws here and you change your belt buckle out. And then your buckle's also got the roller here that helps when you put it on. Another thing I want to look at on here is the stitching. As you can see as the light hits it, the stitching is not fraying yet at all. And that is a very cool thing about this belt. They use quality stitching and they also use a quality leather. All that stitching on there looks perfect. Another thing about leather carry belts is, is for the first couple of days, you're going to get a noise out of them, like that new fresh leather noise, I call it. After about a couple of days, that went away with this belt. I actually got a new, brand new leather belt here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can... I call it the new leather noise. I don't know how good that's going to pick up or not. But after a couple of days, that all went away with this belt after I got broken in. Another thing about the Ultimate Carry Belt is, it is made in America, and it's got a 100% satisfaction guarantee and a lifetime replacement. So pretty much overall, 
after a one month of the Relentless Tactical Ultimate Carry Belt, after one month, I recommend it. I think it's a good, comfortable belt. I had no problems with sagging with it. All the holsters felt great on it. None of the holsters felt like they were sagging or drooping or anything. They felt like they're not going to go nowhere. Um, in my uh, video of the Goliath Tactical holster here, I was wearing this belt in that video, and I had the camera basically pointing at the uh, holster. So you can see how well that it held onto this holster when I was doing the shooting in that video. So, that's basically all I got on the Relentless Tactical Ultimate Carry Belt. Like I said, it's a pretty decent belt. I'd go ahead and say if you want to take a look at it and want to get it, go ahead and get it. I'll leave a link down below for y'all to go check out Relentless Tactical. And that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all on the next one. All right, you're still watching. That means you watched all of my video. Thanks a lot, and I appreciate it. So now I want you to do me another favor. Go ahead and check the links out down below, because in the links down below, I got my Instagram. And on my Instagram, I post a lot of pictures that you don't see on here, sometimes of upcoming projects. Now, also, I've got my uh, Facebook page linked down there, Jesse B's Outdoor page. And on that link, you'll see all the same great stuff that you see on Instagram. But also, a lot of times, I'll put some deals on there for you to check out. So go ahead and check my Facebook page out for that. And another cool thing is I got links down there for these kind of shirts. So if you like cool 2nd A and Patriot shirts, go ahead and check out those links, and that will send you right to them. Well, that's all I got for today, and I'll see you all on the next one. <music>